Hi and welcome to the Wedding Wednesday Report brought to you by the Australian Academy of Wedding and Event Planning. I'm Christine Kerr. Over the last couple of weeks we've been talking about destination weddings. If you are thinking about launching a destination wedding business, you are going to need to understand how to market to this select group of couples who want to get married in far off exotic locations. Regardless of what type of wedding you are looking at planning, destination or traditional, we know that our clients are online and you're going to have to be found online if you want to attract their business. There are a number of reasons cited for why our couples are increasingly just doing their wedding planning online, but the main one is that we're busy and really it's just a way of life now. If you want to know anything, you head to your iPad, your computer or your smartphone. The destination wedding client also knows that she can't necessarily head to an expo in Sydney to find the information that she needs about her Tuscan wedding. No, she's climbing into bed at night with her iPad to do her research. And if you want to attract her business, you have to be able to be found by her. But there's more to marketing online to your bride and groom than just being found. Statistics tell us that a bride spends on average five and a half minutes on a site before skipping off to another one. Now that's not a lot of time to attract her attention and engage her, but we know that it can be done because statistics also tell us that 77% of couples will book online or over the phone without ever having met you. Okay, let's move away from stats for a moment and put this into perspective. If you are going to be any type of wedding planner, you have to be able to be found as we discussed a moment ago. And that is going to mean a professionally built website with good SEO and an integrated social media platform. You can develop your own website and there are lots of tools around to help you do that. But honestly, if you're serious about making your business the way you make your income, do yourself a favor and go to the professionals for help. Now, think about your own internet habits. How often do you jump from site to site looking for the information that you're after? Often, I'll only spend about 30 seconds on a site before going off to another one. I may not have even given that site enough of my time to know if the information I want is actually there. Initially, I am attracted by the looks of a site, but then what will keep me there is how easy it is to find the information I need and whether I can actually feel the expertise of the person behind the site coming through. And that's all really important. So when you're building your website, you need to think about having a strong brand identity, making sure that your site is easy to use and that it demonstrates your expertise. And I think this is particularly important when it comes to destination weddings. Last week, we talked about not becoming a destination wedding planner for an area that you've never been to. People are gonna see through that really quickly. So what you want to do with your website is show them that you know this destination inside out and that's why they need to hire you. So how are you going to attract someone's attention and demonstrate your expertise? We have so many tools available now. So along with your website, you have things like a blog, you have Facebook, you have Twitter, Pinterest and Instagram. We know wedding clients are visual, so you can use some of those social media platforms to show off your expertise. So do venue reviews, vendor reviews, have lots of images, show real weddings, even images of yourself meeting vendors in the destination is going to be powerful for you in terms of marketing your services to the destination wedding client. Most of the really successful destination wedding planners have a great blog and they use it almost like a travel diary. In researching destination weddings for the Wedding Wednesday report, I was completely lost in the blog of Alison Events. She has amazing stories and images on her site and trust me, if I was planning to get married 
in a far off destination, I would contact her. She knows her destinations well and she does have a strong network around the world of people who can help her. And that's all demonstrated really clearly on her blog. And so when it comes to marketing, really that's the most important message I have for you. You have to be able to use the, the tools of social media, your blog and your website like a shop front to show people what you can deliver for them. Today's topic was another big one. It's really hard to sum up how you market online to any type of client in a short video, but I hope that I have given you a good overview. And also I hope I'm not scaring you away from the thought of launching a destination wedding business. I actually think it's a great niche market to get into, but I want to encourage you to see it as more than just an opportunity or a holiday. You are really going to have to do your research and build yourself a strong presence online in order to make it work. But if you do it, we're gonna be there cheering you along. So make sure that you let us know if you have plans to launch your own destination wedding business. And while you're there, leave us some feedback about our videos and make sure you subscribe. I look forward to catching you next week on the Wedding Wednesday Report. Bye for now. I am a really lucky girl everyone, not only am I marrying the man of my dreams this weekend, no not in an exotic location but on my own property just outside of Brisbane, but I have our fabulous videographer who looks after me every week on the Wedding Wednesday Report doing my video for me as part of her other business, a mighty fine shindig. I'm sure we'll have some grabs from the wedding up over the coming weeks for you to see. And um, I have been getting lots of messages of support from people as they've read different things about my planning. So I wanna say thank you for that. It really means a lot to me. I feel like I'm very close to my audience. So thanks. Don't put that bit in. <laughs>